All right, guys, welcome back to more Detroit. This is part 10, and uh, hopefully you guys are doing well. And let's move on to the next chapter, shall we? I was wondering where you were. <laughs> I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. I just can't stop thinking about those two policemen. In that moment, I held their lives in my hands and I treated them just the way the humans treat us. I mean, I did exactly what I accused them of doing. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. <coughs> Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can <coughs> live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come <coughs> from to know who you are. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was a man who ran me. I'm not knowing why I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I struggled when I. There, now you know everything. <coughs> I shouldn't have told you. you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you.
North. <coughs> this is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. <coughs> we'll be killed on the spot. That's a risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. <coughs> there are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. <coughs> Come with us. You're awake now. <coughs> so what? Been on hold for like ten minutes. You're free now. Hey, where do you think you're going? You get back here. No, no, you put me on hold. I need to block the street. Free now.
disperse immediately. That's an order. I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... They're marching. We are yeah, they're marching down the street. Fuck if I know. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. And dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is a revolution. Let's do this. Don't do it, Marcus. Don't choose confrontation. Let's do it. Follow me!
I mean, that was epic. <clears throat> After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kemsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Did Kamsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. Oh. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over.
We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? They're not people, Lieutenant. They're defective machines. They're not people. That's what we say every time we want to oppress someone. When you refuse to kill that android at Kamsky's place, <laughs> put yourself in her shoes. <laughs> Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. I know there are things that haunt you, Hank. But maybe you need to find the courage to move past them. Get on with your life. It's just a plastic cop's opinion, but I had to say it. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Hey. The key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> Stop it, Lieutenant. <laughs> Fuck off. Leave me alone. He's totally lost. Give me another shot. <laughs> I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or didn't anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days.
I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone! We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Remember, guys, I already beat this game on my uh, other account, so that's why I know how to do it. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? I don't know what the music is that. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. 
You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. You better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. It's extremely alarming. It's them or us. we got to destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. 
You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Now that you know she's one of us, Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, <coughs> and you became the mother she needed. <coughs> Forgetting who you are to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. K-1 
can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone, try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Is this what we dreamed of? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it and to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Yeah. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I'm glad I met you. I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Alright guys, that'll be it for this part. Hopefully I will see you guys on the next part, right? Thank you.